Hi, in a previous video I showed you how to use the um, new Align feature that Brother have introduced into the Scan and Cut Canvas software and um, we made a word shaped card. In this video I'm going to show you how you can turn some of the borders that are pre-installed into the Canvas software in here um, into um, decorative mats um, to turn into um, either the fronts of cards or mats for cards or even for scrapbooking. So in the basic shapes um, software we've got all these basic shapes um, but um, the ones up here tend to be all, all scallops. So what if you want um, something that's got decorative edges other than scallops? You've got all these borders here that you can choose from and we can turn these um, into something different. You don't just have to be used as a border. So we'll pick the birds. Um, by default they seem to come up at um, just under 12 inches. So if you hold the shift key down on your keyboard and drag a corner in, it keeps it all in proportion. I'm going to make it just roughly 6 inches. It doesn't have to be exact at this point. Okay. Now. While it's selected, if we right click and select duplicate, and then the duplicate is here all selected, and you can see this um, rotate arrow. If you hold the shift key down on your keyboard and then rotate, it turns it round in so it's perfectly vertical. And then keep holding the shift key down and let go of the mouse, and then it locks it into place. We're going to drag it over here and then we're going to drag an imaginary box around everything and we're going to use edit and align and align left and it may not necessarily align it perfectly on the left hand side some designs do and some don't this one's kind of put this one in the middle for some reason so if we click off and select on the top one and use the arrow on the keyboard and just scoot it over until we get fairly close and then we're going to use the um, zoom button to um, line it up a little bit more so we can see better. So I'm going to zoom in and then um, we'll click on this one and what we're going to do now we're going to try and overlap this edge here with this edge here. So we'll bring it over till it looks about right, take it up and then we're going to zoom in a little bit more and I'm just going to bring it in shot so you can see it and you can see here we want it so that this one is with inside here. So I'm going to take it up a little bit more but we don't want the point here sticking out over there. That doesn't look too bad so I'm going to zoom back out, drag an imaginary box around everything and click weld and that's welded that together. Now select it all because it's now one object, right click, duplicate, while the duplicate's on top, hold the shift key down on your keyboard and rotate. I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything and I'm going to go align, edit, align, right. Now I've scooted it over a little bit too far so again we'll use the arrows on the keyboard and we'll move this over. I'm just going to zoom in a bit more so we can see where we are and then I'm going to bring this down so that we're overlapped here. I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything and click weld and that's welded that together. Now I'm going to, while it's selected, I'm going to fill it with a colour so you can see it. So now we've created ourselves this border, it's all one piece and we've got a nice bird border. You could use that and that would literally cut out everything you see there so there'd be a big hole here and you'd have all this cut out which is great but you might want it filled in here as a mat. So I'm going to take the colour out of it just so that you can see. I'm going to 
go to the basic shapes, get this off, and I'm going to drag, line this up so it just overlaps here and here, and I'm going to drag this out where they touch and overlap will weld. They won't, you don't want to get rid of all your nice pattern that you've just created, but you want it to touch so it will weld the design together. You may have to zoom in a little to get what you're looking for and adjust. So I'm just going to zoom out, drag an imaginary box around everything and click weld. You can see now I'm going to select it, fill it in with black and you can see it and we've now got a nice big mat. Just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Now this could be the front of a card, it could just be um, a mat on a scrapbook page or you can even put it up here, hold the shift key down on your keyboard and drag it out it could actually be a page for a scrapbook so you could put photographs and everything on here um, and then obviously you just give it a name save it and then download it onto a USB stick and you can cut it um, I hope you find that helpful and um, obviously you can use you know some of the other borders that um, are within the software some um, weld and give you a shape better than others so you'd have to play around um, but there are lots in here that you can use I've tried it with several and they all come out quite nice um, so I hope you found that helpful um, leave me a comment below um, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos thanks a lot